Hello friends, this is Red Unicorn playing remote and today I'm going to show you the numbers mod by Mani and not in three minutes, it's going to take longer. Um, I'm also doing something different, I'm going to show you a second mod as well which is the numbers trade or add-on by Telardo, those two just go together and I'm going to take longer today because this is my favorite mod. It's the best, my opinion. So let me show you why. Okay, so the numbers mod gives you a whole new tab here and this mod just knows everything. And I mean everything, all the stats you can find everywhere. With the, um, your pawns for example, health stats with uh, enemies, everything you find under the info tab with animals, this mod just knows. It condenses the information so you don't have to search and look in each and every menu. I can show you what this means. This means, for example, I have a standard setup. You can change it in however way you want. You can see which equipment everybody has, which inventory. Who's your best shooter? Who's your best melee fighters? Here you go. Have it. Who's your fastest pawn if you want to rescue somebody? Or who's your best uh, doctor? Or your best um, trader? This includes trade inspiration. So if somebody has a trade inspiration, he's going to pop up right at the top here. Um, current job. You can take this out. Right click, remove the column. And um, let's just remove this nature uh, meditation focus. You can find this psi focus who actually has psi powers. There are uh, whole pre-made tabs like the side casting preset where it has all available side casts and shows you who has which one. So if you're looking for somebody who can, for example, do skip and invisibility, we can see that it, we have actually four pawns who can do this, which is pretty good. Um, there's a medical preset where you can maybe check if somebody has a low manipulation, he might want to look at what his problem is and if somebody needs treatment you can set medical skill which is really great because for example if somebody has a disease you can just select um, the disease margin and then change the medicine to be used in this one and you don't have to click through each and every one especially for large colonies this is really great okay so let's say you want uh, to have another stat you're looking for the person who has the highest conversion power for example and you can see that that will be this pawn, um, which is really interesting. There are all the stats that you can find in the info tab are here. You can see um, who is set to which work type, for example, who is set to plant cutting. You can have a certain skill you might be interested in. I actually saved myself a specific skills view, view where I have all the skills so I can see who's my best crafter, artist and so on. Um, needs yeah health we already covered that but you can change this in any way you want the, the default tabs and save those as well records can be very funny i never really use them you can have uh, for example you can see who dealt most damage and stuff like that which is just just to play around with you don't really really need it um in the miscellaneous you can find the meditation focus type which is interesting if you play with a natural focus and need somebody who can meditate at the anima tree and we have the traits add-on if you're looking for a specific trait you can actually find this in here and this is especially interesting if you are going in the enemies tab Let's say you're looking for somebody who is good at shooting and good at cooking. So you can sort this by left clicking and the best cook is, has an 8 in shooting and is a quick sleeper and tough. So he seems to be, they seem to be healthy too. You can click on this and it will jump to the specific pawn um, right in the middle. Here's the that was this one. So you can check this out. Incapable of dumb labor. You might not want... Doesn't uh, deter me, but might deter somebody. Health is fine. So you can actually, um, with the numbers mod, select perspective um, recruits, especially if you have 53 attackers. The clicking through each and every one is just... Well, you don't do that. You really don't. I use the mod for recruitment purposes as well. 
Sometimes I use the prisoner mod to see what are what they are set to. It doesn't say here, but it says if you mouse over it, if they are set to no interaction or recruitment or whatever, and the resistance remaining and which food restriction. I find this helpful sometimes. And sometimes also animal corpses. <clears throat> Especially if you start out, you um, can avoid to do a little bit of hunting, which saves you time. For example, you can see here the food poison chance. Um, if the food poison chance is at 5%, not at 100, the corpse is still fresh. So you can click on this and say, oh, okay, good. Allow this and haul it. Um, apparently it was killed by a lynx, which is right here. Uh, which is also injured, but it will recover. And um, is there anything else? Uh, two rats, a uh, turkey. Okay, this one is at 100%, for example, so this is rotted, uh, but the reds are fresh, so you can allow this. Has also been has been killed by a red fox, so especially if you start out in the beginning, uh, scavenging for food, predators leave over. It's not the worst idea, it saves you a lot of time if you're not good at planting or need some um, meat because your vegetables are not ready yet or something. So yeah, I find this mod really useful, especially um, the colonist tab. So yeah, this was the numbers mod in not three minutes. I hope you can forgive me for that, but it's just my favorite mod. And um, if you found this helpful, please leave a like or a comment down below. And if you're interested in more of my rumor content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. And bye!